Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel for another Wonder Swan video guys because it's a little handheld that was only released in Japan so it doesn't get enough love does it? No not outside of Japan it doesn't, it doesn't get enough love. Now I know I always grab this one because it's the one that just sits on my shelf. Um, I have a Wonder Swan colour which is the Final Fantasy uh, box set which is packed away buried deep in the back here so I can't just easily grab that one so I'm going to show you the monochrome one again because until my daily driver arrives which I ordered some time ago from Japan I'm hoping it's going to arrive by the very latest the 10th of December I know that seems ages away but I'm hoping it's going to come a lot earlier um, I'll start showing that one of course uh, but yeah I mean they look pretty much the same it's just obviously the one this one colour is in colour but without a backlit screen unfortunately still but you can get obviously a modification for that um, which I'm looking into doing to this one when it arrives as well to be honest um, I know well, it seems a bit silly to go and order one and then go and stick a new screen in it but it makes such a world of difference guys um, it really really does it makes a world of world of difference it had already been done to the one in the Final Fantasy pack so I'm lucky that one has got the backlit screen in it um, but yes guys this is what I'm talking about as you can see the big burn on there because obviously one of uh, Josh's friends left it on and it burnt through the screen so I've got to get a replacement for that as well because uh, I do want it even though it's only the monochrome one I do want it working properly because when you turn this little thing on I don't know if I've got a game in it at the moment yes I have probably got no batteries in it so I won't bother turning it on because it's really quite disgusting to see with this big black burn in the middle but yeah, the layout of it is exactly the same. He's just trying to get it out of the glare. Very interesting with its buttons and what have you. There we are. There's your speaker there. And then the back. That's your battery. How weird looking is that? And then you've got this little uh, clip here at the bottom that you have to push in to, to release that. So it's, it's a really interesting way of handling the battery battery compartment it really is it's a really nice way of doing it compare your coil at his best again when he designed this you know the man who was behind the game boy fantastic hence why there's a game called gunpay on the wondrous one which was then released onto the psp and what have you but um he yeah, started his life off on here in dedication to him when he died of course and uh, yeah and with its weird uh, cartridges there there we go very weird cartridges <laughs> I love them though, I really do. They're so skinny, look at them. Yeah, and long, very long. But yeah, what a fantastic little machine. But what I want to do, guys, is take a look at another two games that if you're not uh, a native um, of Japan and um, you don't speak Japanese and read Japanese or that you learned Japanese and read Japanese. In other words, if you're non Japanese speaking and reading. Um, what games is there that you can play, guys? Well, we looked at some already, haven't we? But I've got another two I want to introduce you to. Two fantastic games. One's a racer, one's a shooter, guys. Uh, so it's a shoot 'em up. And you know how much I love racing games and how much I love shoot 'em ups, and particularly Japanese ones. They they are just superior. They are fantastic, guys. Um, so we're going to be taking a look at a Final Lap which is a fantastic, fantastic racing game, guys. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at uh, uh, Run Dim, which is an interesting shoot map, guys. So, yeah, two blinding titles for the Wonderswan. So if you are interested in collecting Wonderswan games, guys, and, um, phew, this is two stellar titles, and this one behind me here, um, you know, as gorgeous as this game is, and here it is in its box and everything. You can see what Wonderswan boxes look like. Not that you haven't seen them already when I just showed you them. But, um, yeah, there's a Wonderswan box uh, in physical there. Absolutely fantastic. And as he was sitting behind me there, it was a good one to grab. 
um, that is heavy, heavy text-based um, Japanese, of course. Very difficult to play, although you can plod your way through it a bit. Um, these two are absolutely fantastic. Yeah, on uh, Run Dim, there is some Japanese text, but you can skip through it, and it is a shoot 'em up guys. So, no problems whatsoever. And then, uh, Final Lap, guys. This is actually Final Lap Special. Um absolutely fine because everything is in english which is a, a rarity on the wonder swan as i said it never released japan but this has no japanese text in it really to speak of it's all in english so absolutely fine as well so another two fantastic titles that you can quite happily play if you do not speak japanese or read japanese guys so will you join me as we're not this one <laughs> But as we uh, take a look through emulation this time round, guys, obviously, because um, it would be extremely difficult to film it, <coughs> it says, <coughs> on this screen, wouldn't it? Seeing as it's knackered. And uh, I don't fancy digging out that one, because it would take me all day just to get in there. Um, so, yeah, would you like to join me as we take a look through emulation at two fantastic titles you should pick up for your Wonder Swan collection if you're... Either deciding to collect for the Wonder Swan or you already are. These are two stellar ones because you'll have no problems playing them. Back in a sec, guys. Here we go, guys. For the first title. For new English speaking people like myself can actually play it on the Wonder Swan cover, guys. So, yeah, ideal for all of us out there that don't speak and read Japanese. This is a Namco Classic, guys. It's a final lap special. GT. Formula Machine. So we play this thing. Fantastic music, as you see. There is also a, another version of this, which is Final Lap 2000. But we're playing this one. Right, there we go. And there you go, guys. You can see it's in English now. Formula. <laughs> You can sort of move around matter as you can see. And extra bit of the gun and so on. Quite an interesting thing with such a damage. Player versus player two. And of course, we just want to do it here, don't we? Yes, we do. The all in English guys, brilliant. So you've got a choice here again uh, of uh, championship, time attack and car attack. What we'll do is, yeah, we'll play championship. Yeah, let's go for that. Here's your choice of vehicles. Now oh, look, you've got to unlock them all first guys. Yeah, so we'll just go back to the first one. There we go. We want automatic, not manual. There's the different tracks. Portal out. We've got quite a few different choices here. Brilliant. Spent everything in English, guys. Absolutely superb. Right, we're going to go for the easiest one. Well, easiest. The first one in the choice. See, it's got some unusual controls. But it looks fantastic. You know how much I love my races. This is a very interesting take on it with the uh, controls there. Loving it, man. Not doing very well. I'm in 8th place or whatever, probably. Everybody's in front of me. Very reminiscent of sort of like Mega Drive, isn't it? And SNES graphics. I think this is all on tiny little handheld. It's all just bloody machine what it is. Oh, this is fabulous.
No music, but sound effects are nice. You'll probably do your ears a damage if you <laughs> add headphones plugged in there. Catch up with any cars. Probably not. But you know what? On the Wonder Swan, racing games are few and far between. And I tell you what, this is a stellar one. This will fill a nice gap for you. So if you are out there collecting Wonder Swan games like myself, you have a very rare breed indeed. Um, Certainly outside of Japan we're a rare breed. Uh, this is definitely one to uh, to fill your racing that size. It's a lovely, lovely looking title. As you can see, nice crisp, um, very retro cost graphics, but uh, nice and crisp and colourful. Lovely looking thing. And if you put a uh, modern mod into your wonderful colour, in other words, a uh, modern screen, which is yeah, you can buy them and fit them guys, I've done it on one myself. Uh, it was a little easier to do than when you do the old uh, Atari Lynxes, Game Gears and Game Boys and what have you. It was a lot easier to do. It's definitely worth you doing it. As you know I'm waiting for another in this one colour to come and I am tempted to put a new screen in that one as well even though it, 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 that's going to be kind of my uh, my device I use so yeah, that would be good oh I've retired guys oh still absolutely fantastic there you go guys retire Class E 19A terrible but we'll give it another go guys because you've got your fastest lap and whatever you talk this time. Right, let's have another go. Right, here we go again, guys. Let's try it with the red car this time, shall we? Automatic again, yeah. Let's try this course this time. Look at that. How fantastic does that look? Oh, that looks even better than the first one, doesn't it? Oh, that is fantastic. And the handling is brilliant. Even though I'm doing it quite badly. You could actually see some other cars for a change. Probably won't again. <laughs> Yeah, that, that is lovely. Wow. Fabulous. Oh, there's a car. Look. You can actually see one. I'm not so far behind that you can't see any cars at all. Yeah, that is terrific, guys. Absolutely terrific. Oh, you bugger. Yeah, I really, really like this. That's a fantastic game. A lot more tricky the controls on this one there. And the old Formula One cars here. Yeah, what a doozy. Look at that background as well, it's lovely. Yes, I am a huge fan of this game already. I believe I've overtaken at least one car. Oh, did you see that uh, helicopter as it was going overhead? I didn't quite catch it properly, but I could see something. Yeah, this is superb. No doubt about it.
Brilliant. Oh, wow. I absolutely loved that. That was fantastic. Didn't rank very far at all again. <laughs> Eighth again, guys, but what a fantastic game. Yeah, that is a real doozy. For us non-Japanese speaking reading people, isn't it, eh? Yeah, what a superb racing game for the Wonderswan Color guys. But we've got another one to look at guys, so I'm back in a sec. Here we go with the second title guys. Rundim. A little stunner this one. Wow, fantastic little intro there. Right, let's get in and play this thing. Of course, as you know, this is a shooter. There's all you Japanese, but I promise you, you do not need to read that. Not to enjoy the game, anyway. Stage one, here we go. Yeah, just plug your way through all this to get to the action, guys, where no Japanese is required. Right, here we are. Oh, just looking at it already, guys. Looking at it already. Oh, look at that. Tanks. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, how fantastic is that? Look, fighter planes. Bombs. Oh, you just got everything here, haven't you? Really? <laughs> get those power ups, guys. You're making them as you uh, attack enemies. You get power ups coming along. Get these bloody things as well on the ground because they will shoot you from the top. There we go. Hey, there's the tanks again. Get all those bloody tanks. Get it, get it, get it. That's it. Oh, this is fantastic. You know how much I like my shoot em ups. Oh, they got me, guys. Oh, well, let's carry on. Oh, they got me again. Ah. Oh, look at that. We just shot our way through that, I think. Let's do it. Oh, it's an all those bloody things, eh? Fantastic music again. Not again. <laughs> Come on, let's keep going. Let's see what we can get Let's try not to kill all the enemies. That's what I've been trying to do, guys. Kill all the enemies. Oh, what's going on there? Wicked. Look at that. City's been destroyed by the looks of it. Oh, they're getting me all the time there. Oh, lots of different enemies. Look. Oh. Jesus, yes, I knew they were going to get me there. I knew it. Okay. But we've got some interesting enemies here now. This is getting quite really difficult, guys, for sure. I don't think I'm going to last much longer here. No, I'm not going to last much longer. Where's that big enemy gone? He looked interesting, didn't he? Oh, look at these bloody things, like torpedoes. Oh. I love the way you at least get a chance to restart in the same place. That's good. You know, you won't be able to do that forever before you have to go back to the beginning, I'm sure. But... That is fantastic. Oh, danger. Oh, here we go. Some bigs coming. Oh, yes. Look at this. Look. Oh, look at that. 
Jesus, look at it. Nice soddy, is there? Whoa. Get behind him for a bit. Got there. This is uh, getting a bit too close to pump up. Move out the way. Yeah, like that. That's it. Just keep going out the way. Yeah. Maybe we'll actually have a chance of coming in. That would be good. Yes, I got him. Oh, I don't believe it, guys. I actually got him. Wow. That, that's incredible. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. Wow. Okay, then. Stage two, here we go. Skip for all this again. Oh, look at Ember. Oh, Jesus. Oh, got me. Yes, I don't think I'm certainly can't. It's too hard to get in, surely. And then there's a lot of enemies at once, and that's half the trouble, I think, really. Oh, that weapon's a bit weak. I don't like that one. Give me a better weapon. Jesus Christ, man. That was a bit peck. Oh, look at all them again. They're bloody peck in there. Oh, and again. Yeah, got in there. Okay. Yeah, I'm not enjoying this thing, this uh, weapon. It's a bit poxy, that is. Let's get all in that. There we go. Oh, there's one of them. This should turn into a star. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's better. That's a little bit better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shoot up at you. But good. Oh, what's going to happen now, eh? Oh, look at this. Wow. Oh. New area. That's good. We should get into see some stuff here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Game over. So I lost all my lives, guys. Oh, dear. There we go. Let's see. Oh, terrible. Um, yeah, I mean, I did better than I thought I was going to, that's for sure. Oh, there's that sequence in the there. Absolutely awesome looking. But yes, guys, if you all were looking for a shooting up on the uh, Wonder Swan colour, oh, look no further than uh, Run Dim. Absolutely fantastic. Let's have another quick little go, shall we? <laughs> Let's get through all this. Just have another quick go. Come on. Stage one. Here we go. Yeah. I'll throw all that again. I'll just go for it quicker. Right, here we go. Again. Let's have another quick little go here. <laughs> Although I'm already uh, getting killed here. And it should be the easy level. Good. So if you can avoid them a bit, like that. This is when the bloody bombs come down, what the jeez, boys. Do get some fantastic power ups there, guys. Fantastic. Look at that one. Wow, that's brilliant. Look at it. Can we get up here, of course. That's it. Yeah. Yes. Oh, they got me. No, they got me again. Come on. Tanks. Tanks away. Yeah. Tanks. Oh, they got me. Ah, they got me again. Ah, there we go, guys. I mean, that is fantastic, isn't it? Eh? What a brilliant, brilliant shoot them up guys for the wonder swan color but back with my final thoughts didn't i tell you they were fantastic guys i mean oh the uh you know final lap at lawn what a beautiful game where you can obviously use what look like rally cars isn't it and then you can do the formula one cars 
Um, beautiful looking, very reminiscent uh, of the Mega Drive and SNES type graphics there. Popping colours, absolutely gorgeous and bloody game. Handles like a dream once you get your, you know, your head around the controls in general. Yeah, it is just stellar, guys. Uh, the only thing that's missing, really, for me, is they should have had a bit of music maybe playing. Um, that would have been nice. I mean, you've got the sound effects. And, uh, yeah, I can imagine, like I said, in the playing of it, that if you had headphones in it, it'd probably <laughs> make your ears bleed. But they're good enough. Beautiful game. Then, of course, mm, oh, run dim, guys. Oh, my God, is that a stunner? The animation on the cutscenes, guys, is fantastic already. And then the playing of it is just beautiful. Oh my word, what a fantastic shoot em up, guys. Yes, there is quite a lot of Japanese text there. So you're not going to get the story, but... Hmm. Who cares? Did you see that game? It plays beautifully. You don't need to know the story necessarily. That's fine. As long as you get to oh, blow up all them enemies, guys. What a stunning, stunning game. The graphics on it are fantastic. To think this is coming from a little handheld. Do you know what I mean? A little handheld this big, guys. This slim. Oh, no wonder it was so popular in Japan. I wish to God that they had released it into uh, our territories. It would have been fantastic, wouldn't it? Really, really would have. I think it would have given the Game Boy maybe a run for its money. You never know. Um, oh, what a stunner. Um, or should I say the Game Boy Colour was out at the time when this was released. Um, yeah, beautiful. Oh, So that's two doozies, guys. If you are collecting for the Wonders one, that is two games that you should definitely pick up. And Wonders one games aren't overly priced, guys. You can pick them up for a decent price if you shop around a bit on the usual places, guys. Amazon, eBay, and then obviously through uh, Facebook, um, through selling apps and what have you oh there's such a lot of ways of doing it guys you know there's people selling wonder swan games all over the shop um and obviously you can import them as well which is i have done that many times imported them yeah you've got a bit of a weight but as long as you've got patience is a virtue and all that um which i don't i must admit i'm like this all the time oh god i wish it would turn up i mean i'm like that with the wonder swan that's uh color that's turning up i just can't wait for it to arrive i hate waiting for things but if you're better than me and you've got a bit of patience then it's worth getting it from japan because you pay a hell of a lot less for it because they they go for pennies there where you might spend you know 30 40 50 quid maybe even more sometimes on certain titles you could pick them up for a tenner maybe in japan and uh, yeah what a fantastic way to do it if you've got patience so yes guys there we go Two more Wonders One colour games that are absolutely fine for those non speaking, non reading Japanese people to play. And what a couple of stunners they were. And uh, yeah, with that, guys, I'm going to say the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a thumbs up. Tap that bell icon if you want to be informed of any notifications. Oh, I want to be informed of any notifications. I told you. Oh dear me. Anyway, tap that bell icon if you want to be uh, informed of any upcoming videos through notifications. Uh, and tap the uh, all icon as well to make doubly sure. And now I'm going to take this weary old brain that keeps mucking things up in these videos. But uh, you know that is part of my channel guys because I don't edit things out. I just leave it in. You know what I'm like. It makes it a bit more personal than it. It's like uh, we're sitting in the living room together and having a chat in it. So yeah, with that guys, I'm going to see you videos in. Tschüss and goodbye guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.